Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined today by Vegas Chris and Sports Cheetah. We're going to talk about one of my favorite games, Oklahoma, laying just a little over a touchdown at Jerry's World versus Texas. I'm going to screw this up, the Red River rivalry. Every single time I say that, it's like a tongue twister. Uh, I like OU in this one for a magnitude of reasons. I am not sold on this Texas team. I know that they had a chance to shut out my Kansas State Wildcats last weekend, but that is not the reason why. Um, I think they have the coaching edge here, and I think as much as I love Tom Herman, especially the Tom Herman getting points, I think Lincoln Riley is the better coach here. Preston, your thoughts? Yeah, I, would, I disagree. I mean, Lincoln Riley's had one season plus a couple weeks. He's been really good offensively. The one time he really had any pressure with the lead against Georgia – they blew the game. He went totally prevent offense with the number one pick in the NFL draft. He's actually doing pretty well for the Browns now, and they lost the game. Uh, Herman, I mean, he, his track record is just way longer. So I think if you're going off of like a sample size, uh, Ohio State's offenses under Urban Meyer were the best when Herman was the offensive coordinator there. He went to Houston and upset a ton of top 10 teams and took Houston winning AAC titles, I think, twice. Uh, and then now at Texas, uh, it's tougher to play in the Big 12. Last year didn't go as you know people probably hoped right away. But other than Maryland, really, to open this year, they've won four games since, right? Big wins over USC and TCU. Ugly, ugly win against uh, Tulsa. Not the Tulsa again. one was ugly. I'll, I'll give you that. But I, I think overall, Todd Orlando's a better defensive coordinator than whoever it is at Oklahoma right now. I know they've been switching guys in and out. Uh, I would give the edge to Texas overall for coaching. But I'm with you. The number's short. And actually, there was a spot that went to six and a half, for, like briefly Sunday night, and I bet that. So I think anything seven or less for Oklahoma is worth a bet. Uh, seven and a half is probably a pass. But it, you know, as far as coaching goes, I think it's close. But I'd give the nod to the Horns. Chris, do you have an opinion on this one? Well, Tom. Hurt Herman's 11 and 1 as a dog. So. I told you I love him as a dog. Don't get me wrong, but I, I am not so sold against this Oklahoma team. I think Oklahoma's a lot better than people gave them recognition for this year. And I think Kyler Murray is not Baker Mayfield, but he's a nice replacement quarterback, and I think he's done a good job so far. Well, he's uh, Tom Herman's won eight straight games as a dog outright, so that's a pretty strong uh, coaching job for him there. Uh, in this series, it's been f the last four games have, have finished seven points or less. I think Texas started off with that bad loss against Maryland. And this Maryland team may not be as bad as people think, uh, but nevertheless, Texas is still doing really well. Uh, they're, they're giving up only 54% pass defense in that conference, and that, uh, that's not easy to do. Uh, they're going to be facing a quarterback throwing 70% uh, completion, so something's going to have to give there. But Texas is coming off a couple of great wins against TCU. Uh, they never win in K-State. They won in K-State. Uh, um, I think it's too many points. I see strength of schedule. Texas has played is a little bit better. I think Oklahoma's got the big, uh, you know, uh, the big, big program feel. So everybody wants to get behind them. But I see value in Texas, uh, with, especially with over a touchdown. All right, sounds like we have a little bit of agreement here on Texas, except for me, but that's okay. Each and every Monday, get daily pick packages for just $9. This includes any 5% best bets, normally priced at $30.